Hi, I'm Laura McGath from the Apple Planetarium at Lourdes University, and I'd like to tell you about the constellation Cassiopeia. She's the queen of our night sky. Now, if you go outside on a clear night this month, this will be an easy constellation to find. Plus, Cassiopeia will lead you to something really special in our night sky. So, let's take a look. To find the constellation Cassiopeia, look to the north for a collection of five stars. These five stars look to some like the capital M. Other people see a couple of slices in the sky. Whether you see pizza or an M, it may be hard to imagine this group of stars as a queen. The truth is that the ancients may have seen this constellation differently than we do. If we take, if we add an additional star to the constellation and redraw the lines, it's much easier to see this as a throne fit for a queen. According to the legends, Cassiopeia was a beautiful queen of Ethiopia. She was proud of her looks and bragged that she was more beautiful than the legendary nymphs of the sea. And because of her boasting, she must forever sit in a throne that's upside down half the time, forcing her to hang on so she doesn't fall to earth. The best known star in the north is of course Polaris. It's well known because it never moves in our night sky and always leads north. Polaris is also the last star in the handle of the Little Dipper, and so the rest of the stars in the Dipper always circle around it. Cassiopeia and the Big Dipper lie on opposite sides of Polaris. They too circle around it. So when Cassiopeia is high in the sky, the Big Dipper is down low at the horizon. Neither the Big Dipper nor Cassiopeia ever completely go below the horizon for us here in Ohio. Stars so close to Polaris that they never set are called circumpolar stars. They make up a select group of constellations as well. Cepheus, Cassiopeia's husband, Draco the dragon, and yes, there really is a giraffe constellation in the sky. A section of the Milky Way runs through the constellation of Cassiopeia, so there are several fun things to see here if you look closely. There are four particularly interesting nebula, the first one being the Bubble Nebula. Looking at it closely, I bet you can see how it earned its name. The next one is the Pac-Man Nebula, named after its resemblance to a video game character. At Cassiopeia's feet are two more, the Heart and Soul Nebula. With good binoculars or a telescope, you can see two open clusters of stars in Cassiopeia. Open clusters are groups of young stars that formed at the same time and remain loosely bound together. The Pleiades are a well-known example of an open star cluster. Within the constellation of Cassiopeia, cluster M52 is at her elbow, right next to the Bubble Nebula. Another pretty star cluster to look for is M103. This one has a few thousand stars in its cluster that are eight to nine thousand light years from Earth. M103 is one of the most distant open clusters we know about. Now, if your eyes could see in x-rays, the Milky Way would certainly look very different. And you definitely would want to check out the remains of an exploded star, Cassiopeia A. This is one of the most intensely studied supernova remnants. Here it is in high resolution, produced by NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory. Supernova remnants and the elements they produce are very hot millions of degrees and glow strongly in x-ray light. The Queen of the Night can help you to find something special in the night sky this month. Try drawing a line between the second and fourth stars, those at the top of the M. If you imagine this line to be the string of a bow, an arrow shot 
from that bow would hit a planet. Can you guess which one? Let's go there and find out. It's Mars. Mars will be visible until midnight all month long. There's a lot to talk about with Mars, but that's going to have to wait for another time. I hope you take the time to enjoy the sky on the next clear night. Find the queen of our night sky, and with Cassiopeia's help, you'll get to Mars. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you under the stars again.